be me. Be living in backwoods of South Carolina. Hear stories from local kids of creepy stuff happening in forest about two miles from my new house. Decide to check it out, could be that scary. Right? Grab my pistol, knife and flashlight and head out into the dense forest. It starts getting dark, I turn on the flashlight. Heavy fog all of a sudden rolls in, bringing a smell of copper and burned hair. Hairs on the back of my neck start to stand on end. I start hearing whispers and giggles. Hear something running around in the woods near me. Hear it get louder, no, closer. Turn around to see something crawling extremely fast, low to the ground on four legs. But it seemed to have arms and legs like a human. Fire a shot right into its back and can see blood splatter and its gunshot wound. Let's out a blood curling screech and retreats into the woods. Fog lifts and smell suddenly goes away. Nope. Betamax all the way home. I get home and there it is. Right in my driveway. It runs towards me and I shoot at it, but the bullet doesn't fire. I'm guessing it was a dud. It jumps up and all I can see is its huge, white eyes. I black out and wake up on top of my dad's car with my dad over me, trying to wake me up. My head hurts like a bitch and my ears are ringing. Tell dad about what happened in the woods and he just laughs. And he tells me it was nothing. All goes normal for about another three hours when. Dad says, hey Jake, do you mind getting me those steaks out of the fridge? I just look at him and say, dad, my name is Anon, not Jake. He just looks at me like he is full of hatred and anger directed towards me. Give him the steaks and he just goes into his room with them, uncooked. Comes out an hour later with the package and throws it away. I don't even think about asking. At 11 p.m. he tells me to go to bed, which is odd, because it's a Friday and he usually doesn't care when I stay up. But I do as told and go into my room. At around 3.15 my door opens. It's my dad. I say nothing and pretend to be asleep. The smell of copper returns to the air and I feel sick to my stomach. My dad sits on the edge of my bed and just looks at me, for what I would say to be around 30 minutes. He then mumbles something under his breath and in a voice I didn't recognize. My blood turned cold and I just laid there. When he got up and left my heart dropped and I just laid there until the morning. The next morning I wake up and my dad is asleep on his lazy boy recliner. His nose was bleeding and I woke him up. I am still spooked and I ask him about the blood and he has no idea where it came from. I ask him about the night before and he has no idea what I'm talking about and he doesn't remember waking me up either. My heart drops when he states that it was still Friday when I know for a fact it's Saturday. But he argues with me until I show him my phone with the date. At this point we are both freaked out. I've never ventured out into the woods since then, and nothing has happened since. Except sometimes I will hear the front door open and shut a few times during the night.